What is going on, everyone? The meter is gone. Rip meter in the chat, everyone. It's a why one more. Shindaru. Alright, alright. Jokes aside, we need to discuss the recent removal of DPS meters in global. So far, far too long, we were able to use a technically TOS tool. Mostly because, number one, AGS didn't really care to enforce, but also, number two, so many people were using it that banning everyone that used it would just drop the player base count by a significant amount. I made a video discussing whether DPS meters should exist, but now that it's gone, it's time to reflect on why we have no meter and to think about whether this was an overall positive or negative change for everyone. All right, so if you have been living under a rock with the recent patch update, Smilegate finally decided to put a stop to the rampant DPS meter, mostly because Korea was also using it more than ever, like very recently. In my opinion, it was long overdue. It felt weird that we were able to benefit the DPS meter without punishment. While in Korea, it was actually an automatic ban. Or supposedly, I have no idea whether this was truly enforced or not. How the DPS meter worked was that damage packets would be sent from the client to the servers that could then be intercepted and read by the DPS meter to display the damage information during a raid. Unfortunately, now these packets are encrypted, meaning that without a proper decryption, the information being sent is just a bunch of mumbo jumbo. Now, is it possible to figure out the decryption and bring DPS meters back? Definitely possible, but that's the same thing as saying that you could guess a really complex password eventually. It just takes a lot of time and effort and so it's just not worth doing so essentially with this encryption dps meters are no more in lost ark cue the sad violin noises da, 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 da. no copyright for me <laughs> now we can do some self-reflection since the previous video not only have many people commented about their negative experiences with the DPS meter, you know, such as getting kicked or experiencing toxicity. I also got to see it with my own two eyeballs and it was really sad to see. People seem to have this superiority complex where if they do the most damage, that means they're better than everyone else. Hence, you see everyone ignoring every single mech, doing the bare minimum for the team just so they can do the maximum DPS. I hate these players. There is a limit to such things as, as this, of course. Like, if you are still help, helping the team out and being somewhat ethical, then I can forgive you pumping the deeps. I appreciate that. But if we are wiping over and over because you refuse to do something, we are going to have a problem. Nobody cares about your damage, I promise. I don't remember any of your names. I'm being serious. Please, stop having an ego in this game. It's really not that complex of a game. I even heard people calling themselves a pro Lost Ark player. <laughs> like, ain't no way. My ears had the disservice of hearing those combination of words put together in a sentence. Get off your high horse, quietly do the mechs, and quietly do top DPS. Celebrate to yourself because then... Good job, you were a team player, and you are a good player, and move on to your next raid. With this meter gone, I truly wonder if we are going to see these goblin players gobbling things still, if that's even a verb, gobbling. Maybe, I guess, to be on the MVP screen like we did before the DPS meter days, but I didn't think people were that bad long ago. Positive wise. Something I will actually miss about the meter is that I won't be able to see my personal growth. The whole point of spending hours grinding every single day 
is to upgrade your character. The best way to see that growth is by seeing your DPS go up. If you didn't upgrade, but maybe you're playing better, it also shows a much higher DPS than before, so you can see your class's ceiling. These things really helped me to improve my uptime in certain areas of the fights. I will say too though, piggybacking off of seeing your class's potential, we won't be able to get an accurate read of class balancing anymore. This is something people have been worrying about with the removal of DPS meter. Smilegate is notorious with class balancing. I mean, come on. Look at Striker's tier 3 gameplay. Stupid mobility and damage is low for a back attacker. It's criminal. What Korea does to deal with this is to Guardian raid battles with different classes. They do this for hours. Are we going to have to do this too? It's so sad to think about. I know there's a huge uproar on Reddit right now. Practically every post I see is about the DPS meter. Now, personally, I don't think the DPS meter is coming back. So all the low DPSers who were shunned from society, welcome back to society. You all can comfortably come out of hiding and proudly apply to lobbies without worrying about toxicity. Supports, though, I will say, will be extremely obvious if you aren't buffing and branding well. Yeah, I had a A gear prog yesterday actually where I was running out of mana with an artist in my party. Safe to say that even without meter, I already knew the artist had probably a 30 to 50% attack power uptime. But you know what? We still cleared, so I guess that's all that matters in the end, right? Anyways, that wraps up the talking points I wanted to talk about in this whole ordeal. Everybody say a sweet, sweet goodbye to DPS meters. It was good and bad to us while it lasted. And let me know what you all think about DPSers, or not DPSers, DPS meters being removed. Was it a good change or was it a bad change? Let me know your experiences with the DPS meters as well. All right, everybody. I appreciate everyone watching Pineapple Gang, Hype, Sag, or Happy -j in your comments so I know you made it up to this point. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.